Thank you. New data released shows Michigan is one of several states with substantial community transmission for COVID-19. According to the CDC, Michigan had 56.7 cases per 100 in the last seven days with a positivity rate between 5 and 7.9%. About 46% of Michigan residents live in counties where the CDC is urging everyone ages 2 and up to wear masks in indoor public places, even if they're fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, the state's vaccination rate set 63.9 percent. Encouraging new data on the effectiveness of the Moderna vaccine, but once again, disagreement over if and when a booster shot might be needed for otherwise healthy individuals. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to break it all down for us, Doc. Yeah, Kim, so Moderna says its COVID-19 vaccine remains highly effective for at least six months. Now, that doesn't mean the effectiveness drops after that. That's just when the latest data was analyzed after six months. But there's a critical point to remember here. This was before the Delta variant. Moderna is moving forward. The company filed to seek full approval for its vaccine from the FDA in June. It now plans to submit the final data needed to complete the application sometime this month. The newest data on efficacy comes from the analysis of Moderna's clinical trial that started in July of last year and included some 30,000 participants. The initial efficacy was 94.1%. Six months after the second dose, it was still 93%. But it's important to note, this data was collected before the Delta variant became dominant in the United States. Ahead of an earnings update, the president of Moderna said the company believes boosters would be necessary this fall to address the Delta variant. Pfizer has made similar statements, but federal health officials continue to say there is no significant signal that boosters are necessary yet. Earlier today, the White House COVID response team announced they do plan to offer boosters to people who are immunocompromised. Israel, Germany, and France are all now planning to offer boosters to at-risk groups, including older people and the immunocompromised. Now, Moderna, Pfizer, and J&J &J are all testing the impact of booster shots in some of the participants in their original trials. And that data is really going to be critical for helping health officials determine if boosters will be needed and having those boosters ready to go if they really are needed. It's, it's really confusing, Dr. McGeorge, because we've seen federal officials repeatedly stress that boosters aren't needed yet. How difficult will it be for them to backtrack if they are indeed needed? Well, you know, Kim, you're right. I think it is confusing right now. And everyone just needs to remember that this pandemic is still evolving. And the Delta variant may really be a game changer in terms of the need for boosters, or frankly, they may find that the protection remains sufficiently high. Mm -hmm. The Delta variant is surging in several states. So we are now going to see how well the vaccines perform in the real world against it. And of course, whether or not the current stance on boosters might need to change depending on what we see. Yep. And we know you'll stay on top of it. Dr. McGeorge, thank you.